Today I'm going to fix my fly server sole. It's older and it, it isn't filling up correctly because it's leaking. And I did a test last month and I found out where the holes are. The underside's fine. You don't need to coat this section. <clears throat> All the air is coming out of these holes. On the top edge here and on the seam, but only on the back and top. So today, I'm gonna to fix that. I've gone through this kite before, put a complete silicon coat on it, diluted, painted it, it barely helped. And so today, after I've done my test, and know where the holes are, I'm gonna do it right. And here's the method. Bit out some silicon goo. Take a little bit on my finger. And then right on the holes. Nowhere else in the kite. Let's get started. That took about uh, three hours. And you can see it looks like <laughs> it looks like I taped all the seams with sealing tape, which is exactly the effect I want. So I only did the back according to my test. That's all it's going to require, and it's going to fly just like new. Just got done flying my kite. And I'm doing the edit right now for the video. And I want to say that the kite's not like new. This is not going to restore your kite. However, after coating the kite, it gave a little bit of pressure. But doing just the seams, the top and the back, like I just did, the pressure is double or triple what did it what you would get painting the entire kite so i think when my other foils get old i'm going to forget painting the whole kite it's just not worth the extra weight you get just doing the seams brings the pressure up much much better than painting the entire kite and i don't think it matters what kind of goo you use. You can use whatever compound you want, but I think it's important just to hit the part of the kite where the air is escaping. And I know it seems like, well, the kite will be more waterproof and launch easier, but the problem is that only gets the outside of the kite. The intersections of the kite still get wet and have problems relaunching. So. I think the most effective thing you can do to bring back an old kite is just do the seams. Now this took much longer than painting the whole kite. Painting the whole kite just took a few minutes to do the whole thing. Doing just the back took me three hours. But the effect is so much better, I think I'm going to get another five years out of this washed up kite. And that's fantastic.